Hi, I'm Matthew Schwartz from the band Pacifico, and today we're going to talk about all four versions of our newest single, When We Were Wild. We're going to talk about everything that went into making these songs and the video. So, check it out. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. So there are four different versions of When We Are Wild single. Um, I got the great idea when I was watching a documentary about uh, Beck uh, with the Dust Brothers and how he did Odelay and their um, and the follow-up Midnight Vultures. He, uh, the Dust Brothers had previously done the Beastie Boys. Uh, Paul Boutique is Paul's Boutique is probably the mo most famous one. Anyway, but they they were DJs and used to. Uh, you know, DJing and, and, and uh, collab, what am I looking for? Like editing the music, sampling the music into each uh, each song and stuff. So I had never done that and wanted to do that. Um, and I knew that it was coming up on Pacifico's 20th anniversary. So I thought that it would be great for me to record this song that I've written in the three different states that Pacifico had been a band, which were Georgia, Louisiana, and North Carolina and then take each of those versions and then make a mega mix close to what the Dust Brothers were doing for like Beck and such. Uh, so, started off going to Louisiana, which I'm going to put this in not the order of the, of the uh, maxi single, but actually the reverse order, because that's the order it was recorded. So first I went to Louisiana, didn't have to go there, I guess I was living there. Um, and I got with the band that I had there. We had uh, Andrew Litton on drums, who also played on Everest. Um, we had uh, Chris Downey on bass, um, we had Coy Diagle on guitar, and then we had Shane Madeer Jr. on guitar. Um, we recorded at the Le Legendary Noise Floor where we did pre-production for Everest and uh, with Jonathan Tully. And the way that I was doing this each time is I would bring this song and let the band work out together what we wanted this version to be like. You know, the only things that had to be constant were the tempo and the, uh, the key of the song that way I can edit them in together but other than that we could do whatever they could add whatever and all that kind of stuff um, for this version uh, unfortunately Chris and Shane could not be there when we recorded the original version like the, the, the first session that was just uh, Koi Andrew and myself um, and we played live together in the studio and uh, and then later Chris and Shane came on the same day and they overdubbed the bass and the lead guitar stuff um, as you can hear, Shane is killing it on the lead guitar right now. Um, the version of this is very similar to the North Carolina version. We kept the same bridge. The, the main differences on this one uh, is beginning with the, um, the uh, I don't know what they call, but the harmonics at the beginning of the song that Koi did, kind of like a U2 or Kings of Leon kind of thing. And then at the end, uh, we did a, um, held out, you probably don't care about this, we held out an E for much longer uh, for like a coda and then also we got this chug a chug kind of thing that we're doing here in this last chorus that I really love. Um, it went, came together really really quickly, it was really great, it was wonderful recording with these guys. Um, it was the first time that we did this, I was really afraid because I didn't, you know, I got this grand idea but I didn't know if it would actually work, um, but I loved, that's the chug a chug is. Mm, love it. But uh, yeah, I just love the idea of, I love collaboration, I love bringing people together. So yeah, I worked really hard to make sure that this was what we did for each version. And um, I'm trying to think about else, I mean Shane killed it on the guitar. I didn't, I didn't really give much direction on anything. I let everybody kind of do whatever they wanted to. And um, I'm very proud with how it turned out. Um, so that's the Louisiana version. Um, now I hope you like it. So, yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, comment, uh, check out our stuff. Uh, our website is PacificoRock.com. 
Uh, we have merch for sale. You can actually purchase this song, and there's even t-shirt you can get as well. Uh, thank you so much for supporting independent music, and I hope you have a great day.